Welcome back everyone to those YGU guys. I'm your host Alessandro. So in this video we're going to be doing a Hero Strike Structure Deck that has been released as of today, which is January 30th, 2015. And I'm not alone doing this opening video. Along by me is my younger brother Stefano, mm -hmm. who plays Heroes. So, how are you doing Stefano? I'm doing just fine. That's great. Um, so... As you, as I have stated earlier, um, the Hero Strike Structure Deck has been released. So, tell me what, what are your thoughts of, about this Structure Deck. I think it'll make a pretty good deck. Yeah, I I, I have to agree. I mean, um, the new support for the Hero. Oh gosh, the glue is real. Okay, as I was saying, I mean, with the new support for the the heroes, I think they're. They're back on the contending level, so um, so we're gonna be doing an opening, and of course, I'm gonna be doing a review on my thoughts. So without further ado, let's take a look at the play mat, even though it's paper. Yeah, this looks good. All right, and then this little strategy guide that you always get, and cards that you can look into in the future. Uh, rule book, uh, definitely read on this so you better learn the game. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's pop open this uh, structure deck. So, okay, so. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to do this carefully without damaging. Okay. So, first card is our ultra rare Contrast Hero Chaos. So pretty much what it, this card is, is it requires two mass heroes to be fusion. Uh, it's always treated as an elemental hero. And, and of course, even though he's considered as a dark attribute, he's also considered as a light attribute as well while he's face up on the field. And of course, once per turn during either player's turn, you can target one face up card on the field, negate that target's effect, until the end of the turn. So this card is a pretty powerful card. Um, not something you would get off early game, but in the late game scenario, this card can be really devastating. I mean, three three K beater, um, very big. I mean, it's pretty powerful. Um, any thoughts? You like it? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's meet. Meet up with the new Elemental Hero monster known as Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. Pretty much the monster is going to be replacing Elemental Hero Stratos. Well, since he's banned. So, of course, we're going to have to make do without him. Um, of course, like we all know about Shadow Mist, for those of you who don't, uh, when you special summon, you can add one change quick play spell card from your deck to your hand. And of course, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one hero monster from your from your deck to your hand, except Shadow Miss himself, or actually herself, my bad. Um, of course, you can only use the effect of Shadow Miss once per turn, and only once that turn. So, not bad. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, definitely a good card. Um, definitely recommend as a three of. Um, I don't see anyone else have any other suggestions, right? Okay. All right. Our next mass hero. We have the the light attribute mass hero named Koga. Koga. Um, basically, um, of course, he requires to be special on by through the effect of mass change, and cannot be special on any other ways. And this card gains five hundred attack for each monster that your opponent controls. And of course, once per turn, during other player's turn, you can banish one hero monster from your graveyard 
Then target one face of monster on the field. That target loses attack equal to the attack of the banished hero monster to activate this effect. So, in a sense, you can weaken and kill monster, I mean, kill your opponent's monster in battle. Or you can utilize this effect to dodge around cards like weaken your monster to dodge bottomless trap hole that your opponent activates. So, I mean, it's really cool, pretty powerful. Um, definitely, you could definitely is a state. I mean, you'll definitely see this um, if you're still running like Neo's alias. So yeah, pretty cool card. All right, up next we have the Divine Wind. Yes, the Wind attribute, Mass Hero. Uh, pretty much what it does is um, it cannot be destroyed by battle, and your opponent can only attack with only one monster during each battle phase. And when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle. And sends it to the graveyard. You draw one card. Um, it's not a bad card. Um, in the current meta game, in which is the January two thousand fifteen format, um, it's a little bit underwhelming considering that um, the, cannot be destroyed. But battle is kind of meaningless when you have so much um, disruption and destruction effects. So especially with snatch deals, dealing your monster. I mean it's. Um, it's a little eh, but not a bad card. Uh, it comes down to player preference whether or not you want to play this card or not. I mean, it comes down to how how much space you have in your extra deck. So, so yeah. All right. So our last mass hero is Dark Law. Yes, and this is the card that many people are hyping up. And to be honest, he lives up to the hype. Um. He's very good. Um, like all the other mass heroes, you know, same thing. Cannot be special by any other way except by mass change. By mass change, um, or the mass change quick play spell card thing. Um, of course, any card sent to your opponent's graveyard are banished instead. So no graveyard buildup or kind of disruption that for effects that relies to be going to the graveyard, such as burning abyss. Uh, shed alls and so forth. Um, also, once per turn, if your opponent adds a card or cards from their deck to their hand, except during the draw phase or the damage step, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand. So, for example, like Clyford's with the Clyford Scouts effect, where they can add a one Clyford, I mean, a cleat card from their deck to their hand. Or even the upcoming Necros or Neoclaws, wherever they're called, um, they search a lot. So this card is punishing. So pretty much because of this card, this could put Elemental Heroes as a anti-meta based strategy against the current uh, top tier decks. So what do you think, Semno? Mm. So of all the Mask Heroes, any any one of them is your favorite? Koga, you still? Uh, personally, I think Dark Law is amazing. That's just my opinion. Okay, so let's breeze through what else you can get. Um, you got the Elemental Hero Ocean. Uh -huh. Then you have Elemental Hero Woodsman. Elemental Hero Voltic. Elemental Hero Heat. Yep. And then an old Elemental Hero Avion. Yeah, this, this replaces Elemental Hero Stratos since... Uh, in the OCG, they have a Stratos in the in the structure deck. Of course, in the TCG land, he's banned, so we cannot run him. So they replace with Avion. Um, I know people are not too happy about it, but I mean, you know, it could have been worse. Uh, of course. And then Elemental Hero Neos. Neos. Then Elemental Hero Neos Alias. The level four guy. That is true. That's the Elemental Hero Neos. Mm -hmm. And then the piercing damage guy, Elemental Hero Blade Edge. Yeah, he knows his stuff. Well, of course, you play Elemental Hero. And then there's Elemental Hero Necro Shade. It requires you to summon a level 5 or higher Elemental Hero monster without tributing as long as he's in the graveyard. Yeah. yeah. Only once. It's a one time deal, of course. And this is the Elemental Hero that is unaffected by. that's immune to trap cards. Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Not a bad card, I will say. I actually like him. He, in some it, like your, when your opponent activates Mirror Force, he is unaffected by Mirror Force. Like that, for example. And on his travels. Yeah. 
an elemental hero bubble man. Yep. And he's like one. the only card do you only card on the field you draw two cards. Draw two cards, yeah. And of course if you have no cards in your hand, you can special summon this card to your side of the field so you can make quick rank four plays and so forth. Mm-hmm. And of course Neo, Neo Station Sp Grand Mole. Um pretty good reprint. I it's a pretty good anti meta strategy. Um unfortunately he does burn out this normal summon which kinda blows. Uh, I still kind of question why he's still limited, but that's one whole different topic. But, yeah, not bad reprint. And honest. Yes, and if you guys remember in the current January 2015 ban list, honest have gone from one to two. So now you can run two copies of honest per in the deck. So, I mean, so that's pretty good. Then, of course, you have Car Trooper. Not a bad card. Wing Karibu. Now, of course, it's not a hero related, but of course, if you guys watch Yu Gi Oh! GX series, the main character who plays heroes also plays Wing, Wing Karibu. Karibu. Uh, yeah. And Wing Karibu happened to be a sky partner in that series. Yeah, and this character's name is Jaden Yuki. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Yu Gi Oh! GX series. I'm more into the 5Ds. What were you, 7-0? I didn't think GX is as good a series as I saw it. You, li you like C GX? Okay. that's. I know a few people who like GX, so I mean, that's pretty interesting. Um, Summer Monk, really good reprint. Um, you pitch a spell, which obviously you're playing heroes, so you're playing a lot of spells, and you can special on one level 4 monster from your deck to your side of the field. Uh, ideally, you want to pitch a spell for Summoner Monk to get the Shadow Mist, which then you get your quick play mass change card, and then you go from there. And then a really interesting card they put in in the TCG structure deck, known as Homunculus the Alchemic Being, um, pretty much once per turn his attributes change to whatever attribute you want it to be. Um, you can make him as a dark a, or fire, you water, can make him anything. Fire, water, wind, or dark. Or hell, you can say. I want to make him divine, even though you don't get anything from for him to be divine, but you get the idea. Mm -hmm. um, not a bad card. Uh, that's an interesting tech. Uh, mass change second. Uh, this card is pretty cool. Um, for those of you who don't know, you discard one card, then target one face of monster you control that has a level and send it to the graveyard. Also, after that, if it left the field by this effect. You can special on one uh, mass hero monster from your extra deck that has the same attribute but higher level than the attribute and slash level of that monster. And when it was I mean, when it was on the field, of course, you go by the original attribute and level. If face down, same thing. Um, and this special summon is treated as the special summon of mass change. And you can only activate this card once per turn. So, very interesting card. Um, definitely is easily tech in many different decks. Um, Shadows can run it. Burning Abyss can run it since they play, they're mostly dark decks, so you can go into Dark Laws, so it's pretty cool. Um, definitely run three of them, two or three. I, I don't remember. We have to go back and do the ratios. Uh, form change. A really interesting card. Uh, target one hero fusion monster you control. Return to the extra deck and then special summon from your extra deck one mass hero monster with the same level as that monster's original level but with a different name. And of course this special summon's tree has mass change. So, very interesting. Um, pretty cool. So, yeah. Definitely take a look into that card. Uh, mass Charge, target one hero monster, and one change quick play spell card from your graveyard and add them back to your hand. So, pretty cool. Um, recyclability, and thus continuing on with your uh, mass hero plays. And then uh, continuing on, we have the original mass change. Uh, you probably remember this card, 7 now. Yes, I do. Um, back when... Uh, Stratos got banned. We tried to take into a more different approach and we
pushed into the mask heroes. And I think the top two mask heroes we've been using were um, Mask Hero Acid and Mask Hero Diane or Dian. I don't remember. Mask Hero Dian. Or Diane. I don't know the correct pronounce pronunciation, but is that correct, Semna? Yeah? I mean, we used to. And now. I, mean, I refer to him as Mask Hero Dian. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that, but I mean. I mean, like, we we kind of transformed your deck after Strauss got banned, right? Yes. Yeah. And then polymerization. Um, I know not a lot of people are too thrilled about polymerization. Um, honestly, you might want to hold on to this card. Um, there is an upcoming card in a few months from now, which is around April. We're about to get the, the... Uh, I forgot what it's called, the World Superstar set or whatever it's called. Um, where, of course, they're supposed to be having like Star Seraphs and the Chronomalies and so forth. And, when, of course, one of the OCG promo cards we're about to receive is known as Element Hero Blazeman, which he can come in handy. Um, he's very good. I've seen them a lot in the, uh, the new Mass Hero strategy, so definitely... Uh, take a look into that. So this could come in handy, maybe in the future or so. And of course, Miracle Fusion, like what every hero deck should be running. At least two. I don't. I mostly see three, but that's just me. Um, definitely a good card, right, Semna? Mm-hmm. Uh, Parallel World Fusion, a little bit gimmicky. Uh, you don't see this card a lot. Um, Maybe side deck, I don't know. Um, pretty interesting. Um, a Hero Lives. Now, this is a very good reprint. Um, definitely, uh, that was definitely one of the cards that many um, future hero players, or even hero players, are beginning to wonder whether or not this card gets reprinted. And I'm pretty glad this card has gotten reprinted. Um, definitely, definitely, very good card to run. Uh, Hero Mask, which is a pretty cool card. Um, I I didn't think about it as much, but uh, when I went back and look, um, you can do some pretty nifty tricks, especially with Shadow Mist. Um, you could target one face-up monster you control and send it cards like Shadow Mist, a hero monster, or elemental hero monster, and then you could send it from deck to the graveyard, and in that monster that you selected becomes the name of the sent monster until the end phase. So pretty much you just want to trigger cards like Shadow Mist so you can search, which is pretty cool. Uh, Heat of Hard, power up by 500 piercer. Mm -hmm. Emergency Call, your searcher. And then Righteous Justice Destroy Spells Trap card. Equal to the number of elemental hero monsters you control. Yeah. And in O Oversoul, you bring back one elemental hero normal monster from your graveyard and special summon it. Yeah. Uh, reinforcement of the army is now currently at three. So why wouldn't you? And then the warrior returning alive. Interesting. Um, pretty cool card. Um, Pod Duality. Uh, last time it was reprinted in the... Um, what was it? Um... In a structure deck was the Fire King structure deck, I believe. Um, it's really cool. Um, of course, they have the new um, text, which says Excavate. Um, definitely a good reprint. So, definitely. Uh, I know a lot of people are debating whether or not to run Pod Duality. Um, I know in like competitive decks, they don't run Duality. But, I mean, like it would be kind of silly that treat all other decks the same. Um, certain decks, they don't run Pod Duality, but other decks, they can utilize Pod Duality very well. So definitely uh, keep it around. It's pretty good. It's not a bad card. Uh, Hero Signal. Hero Blast. One Call of the Haunted. And then... We have Bombless Trapple, Compulsory Evacuation Device, then we have the Battle Guard Howling, 
Uh, they replaced this. Um, uh, they replaced Solemn Warning with this card, and this card is not bad. I mean, pretty much when a warrior monster you control is targeted for an attack or by opponent's monster effect, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the face of monster you, that you target with this card, and return it to the hand of uh, that monster. So, not bad card. It's actually pretty interesting. Pretty cool card. And finally, to wrap things up, we have the Elemental Hero Great Tornado, which is a card you're probably not going to be seeing or playing a lot nowadays. But still, it's a nice card to have a reprint as a common. So, this concludes the opening of the structure deck. So, any final thoughts? What do you think, Semina? What do you think? Great deck. Yeah, I think uh, the structure deck is a very well worth the structure deck to um, purchase, especially to those who are hero fans. Definitely, this is a really good structure deck. A lot of good cards, especially some of the staples and semi staples, uh, like Boneless Compulse, uh, Pod Duality, a lot of good support of heroes. Uh, even the Stratos' ban and Clean Super Poly's ban, which Good range for that card. I think that's the one card I hate the most. Because yes, yeah, most people do not want to face against super polymerization. Cause that's that's like the one killer card. That's like the one card that just makes me want to cringe. Like I'm different about Stratos. Like whether or not he comes back or he remains on the ban list, but Super Poly is the one card that every time I see that card my being used against me, I just cringe. But my brother considers it a killer card of super polymerization. Uh, it is because you can't do anything about that card. It's like it's well, not, you cannot do anything. But the picks. Well, that's over and done with. Um, I say, really good structure deck. Um, uh, a lot of good cards. I highly recommend. Um, to those players who are interested in getting the hero structure deck, I definitely recommend getting it. Um, if you want to go to a more at least uh, you want a good deck, um, definitely buy three structure decks so you can have a really strong hero build. And then from there you can go go a little bit more advanced and then start picking up like some other cards to improve your deck such as, um, let's see, staple cards like are currently right now during this format, Snatch Steel, maybe Raigeki, um... Let's see. If you have Vanny's Ampiness, that's not bad a card. If you don't, don't hurt yourself. They're, you, they're, I'm not recommending anyone to try to go get it if they don't have it. Um, um, some good extra deck cards like number 101, Castell, stuff like that. So, overall, very good structure deck. I hope you guys enjoy um, the new structure deck uh, opening and review video. So, I'm Alessandro, and this is Stefano, and I'll see you guys later. So, stay tuned, and we'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.